What's up everybody, Pumpkin here. So this isn't going to be a deck review. Um, I've actually already gone over this deck in a previous video. There's a few cards changed. I think I added uh, Count Caldwell and I, I switched up a few bronzes. Um, so if you're interested in the updated list of the like Ethne mid-range list, I mean, you can look, you can take a uh, look here. Um, yeah, big change, Caldwell. Caldwell is a good card. Yeah. Um, so what I wanted to talk about, uh, I'm going to be showing you a video very soon. Uh, I queued into my Usurper list. Uh, this is a list that's very, very good against Detlaf. The entire idea was to auto-win Detlaf. Um, in theory, it's really, really bad against Ethne because Usurper has the lowest provisions at 160, whereas Ethne has the highest at 169. So in theory, Ethne should always win because there's nine more provisions. And like, oh, you don't need your leader. It's only four points. Uh, turns out... <laughs> <laughs> you do need your leader ability because um, you, you need to set up cards, right? Like, Sword is basically useless without Ethne. Setting it up is very, very difficult. Same goes for cards like uh, Gorgon and potentially like Sursa. So lo losing your Ethne ability is actually a bigger problem than one might think. Um, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a very short intro. Basically, I wanted to explain um, it's very important to keep, um, I don't know, keep tabs on the meta because a lot of people do net deck and knowing exactly what your opponent plays card for card is really, really valuable because you can play around certain cards and you can change your game plan uh, to potentially beat your opponent uh, when you normally would not be able to beat your opponent. Um, I was in a bit of luck because the list that he was running was a list that I put up uh, a few days ago, card for card. Uh, and it was very easy to tell because, well, he was playing Usurper and turn one, he played a Doppler. So from there on out, I knew exactly what he was playing every single card. And it was great. Um, so uh, yeah, I don't want to spoil anything in the video because it, it was a really fun game. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure to pay attention to net decks. Uh, see what people are running. Yeah, I don't know. I basically do research, I guess, on Pro Ladder. It, it can be hard, but uh, uh, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Sure. Is this Lena? Yeah, Lana. Why'd you cut volunteers? I don't think they're good. They never go off. And they end up bricking, and it just makes me sad. I don't think we're actually... Like, we have nine provision more than Usurper. Right? In theory, we're favored. We're not actually favored. It's like all my cards lose all their value with no ethne. Coexistence, my ass. Right, because I, I need to set up cards to get value, and like this card exists, and this card's pretty good. A few points. It's only bad if he plays an emissary, and then it's really bad. A shame I have no time. Never had your kneecaps broken. Huh? I have to get greedy because I need to thin these out as much as I can. Common folk. I care for them. Guest one.
It's a really good slave flip. Fine. We can win this game. It's very simple. We just have to draw dragon. If we don't draw dragon, we ought to lose. Lust after our lady folk. When the white frost comes, do not eat the yellow snow. I shall feel it. He has a cowboy brick in his hand now. Good. So I knew because it's the Usurper deck, I know it's the net deck, which means I know that we have Gorgon value. Really nice. Because I like I can't set this up, but I knew that he would set it up for me, which is nice of him. Good, 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 good. Um, beautiful. Yes. Aye, I should have finished my pipe. Does he have another emissary? Right, right. We win, right? There's a Caldwell. And because his last card is Gorgon, we pass. 